Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first I want to say I'm so sorry if I sound really like groggy. It's because I'm, I'm kind of healing from my flu or whatever illness I went through. But today I have a really, really exciting video for you guys. And um, I'm going to be comparing two powders. And um, one's high end and one's um, drugstores. You guys know that I absolutely love my Ben Nye banana powder. And I managed to get my hands on the Makeup Revolution banana powder. So... They do kind of have the same name because the Ben Nye one is called Luxury Powder as well. So I thought I would try both um, and give them a test, so one on each side, and then I'm going to be going to work today. And when I come back, I'm going to show you guys what I think and how it looks under the eyes. Um, I've, I've never tried the Makeup Revolution one, so I'm really, really excited about that. Just about price, this I believe I got for £11 or £15. I'm not too sure, but I will link it in the info box. And you get... 42 grams or 1.5 oz and you get the exact same amount in this one so I feel like they were very inspired by the Ben Life banana powder um, but um, you get the same amount this was five pounds and I got it from the Tam Beauty website because it was out of stock everywhere I, can, I, could, I couldn't quite get my hands on it so I went on their website but you can get it at Superdrug when they're back in stock and I got the uh, Ben Nye Banana Powder for 11 to 15 pounds on preciousaboutmakeup.com and I really really love this um, powder it's so good at setting your under eye so I'm going to go straight on to apply my concealer and we're going to try these powders so I'm going to be mixing my LA Girl Pro Concealer with the NYX HD Concealer Wand. The NYX one is a bit dark, so I do like to mix the two. I'm just gonna put a bit of the NYX one around my mouth area. I am gonna set around my mouth area on each side as well, so we can see if that's gonna work. Okay, my nose is a bit red from like blowing my nose 25 times a day. I'm just gonna blend that out. The Makeup Revolution one it looks much more yellow um, compared to the Ben Nye one. Ben Nye one looks more thinner and loose, but then Makeup Revolution looks quite, quite like you know clumpy and much thicker than the Ben Nye one. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution one first. I'm just gonna use this. I'm going to use it around my mouth. This is the Ben Nye one. You can tell right off the bat it's much, not much, but it's a, it's a bit less yellow compared to the Makeup Revolution one. I'm going to brush this all off. It's all right so far. So right off the bat, I can see that this side looks much lighter compared to this side, but it actually looks not bad. But I can definitely see that this side looks much more like smooth that's why I love the Ben Nye banana powder because like it just makes your skin look really smooth and then this side it looks nice but it's not as smooth as this side I don't know how to explain it so I just quickly finished my makeup because I'm actually running out of time and need to leave for work I don't know what that noise is but um, I'm going to set my face first with uh, the Smashbox primer water because I always do this So, so far I really like both. I mean you guys know I really love the Ben Nye banana powder but the Makeup Revolution is looking okay. Let me zoom up for you guys. It looks quite the same to me. Oh please ignore my moustache, I need to get rid of that. The ashiness has gone a bit on this side but I have to say I wouldn't really bake with this. For now like I don't know if it's gonna settle into my skin better but for now it does look a tad bit 
ashy around this area um, but on the ben I banana powder side it doesn't so um, yeah so that's all I have to say for now I'm gonna go to work and I'll probably it's 8 15 right now so I'm gonna go and I'll be back later on tonight and I'm gonna let you guys know uh, what I think and I'm excited to see what it looks like in comparing the two so um, yeah I'll see you guys later so it's not been long since I've been back from work it's now what time was it on one? So it's 8.37 right now and um, so far um, I have to say like both under eyes are looking really good. There's maybe a tad bit of like dryness on this side but literally can't even really notice it. It's just me that's being really picky but you can't even see it. It looks really nice and even like in terms of creasing it hasn't even creased that bad like I obviously get creasing like anybody else like you can't prevent it but you know sometimes it's like really really bad but then sometimes it's just like the pure minimum and it's fine and that's what it is right now like so this is the makeup revolution side and this is the Ben Nye banana powder side and it looks really 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 good in terms of my mouth area it's always like a huge mess for me like especially towards the end of the day it gets really like cakey it's the area where I touch my face a lot and it's where I get pigmentation so um it does kind of like go a bit weird around this area um and then, to be honest the make <laughs> the Ben Nye banana powder looks worse than the makeup revolution side so I'm kind of shocked about that so here is like really cracking and then here it's fine like it's just smooth but here it's just separating a bit and there's no smile lines, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, I definitely have to give this Makeup Revolution powder a 10 out of 10 because it's so, so good. It's really affordable. It was literally only five pounds. It's definitely comparable to the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And um, at first, it does look a bit brighter. That's the only difference, I would say. But in terms of quality, it does the job really, really well. So I'm really happy that I found a really affordable loose powder i get a lot of questions about loose powders and under eye setting powders so if you guys want to see a more detailed video about more under under eye setting powders let me know but if you're looking for a really nice affordable one i would definitely recommend this makeup revolution one if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me feel free to ask in the comments below and yeah i think that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching make sure to like this video if you did find it helpful and subscribe if you're new to my channel and i can't wait to see you next time in my video bye guys